So if you've been a long time follower of the channel, you know I really, really like these Canon FD vintage lenses. I've talked about them a lot on the channel and how I've modded them to actually have EF mounts on the back of them so I can use them on my modern cinema cameras. And I've also added follow focus gears to them and um, new front rings. But recently I upgraded my entire conversion kit using the Simod lens um, accessories. So I wanna talk about that in this video and kind of show off what is going on here and why I like these so much. Goodbye to the 3D printed gear. Where did I put the rubber bushing? The rubber bushing. And we're going to slide that in here. Like so. Push down. Simple as that. Simple, haha, <laughs> I said it. You knew I was gonna say it at one point. Oh yeah, that is nice. Very nice, okay. Now let's put the ring on it. This is my cheapest lens. It's my most, it's like the FDN lens that I have. So I figured I'd just start with this one. Psyched, psyched on this. 35 cap. Oh, okay. We are kitted up here, guys. Now this is the 3D printed mount on this one that I have. Just yesterday, they announced that they are finally gonna be doing the updated versions from Edmica and Simod to convert your EFN lenses. So I will probably replace this here at some point. I just haven't ordered that yet because it wasn't out yet, but now I've got the 3D printed one on here, which is fine. Um, and we've got the gears, and we've got the lens caps. Guys, this is this is a sexy. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I, this it's a cinema lens now. It's it's hot. I'm all about this. So if you haven't seen my other videos before, you, you probably want to know why I would do, do this. Why would I take these old lenses and mod them to make them work in a cinema environment? Well, the obvious answer is they're cheap and awesome. These older lenses have a lot of character to them. Um, they're made out of a really nice material and they're much more inexpensive than your like modern cinema lens. Like, okay, like this one for instance here, this is the Mikey cinema lens. This is about a thousand dollar lens and it's a big hefty cinema lens with the nice follow focus gears on there and stuff like that. Nice front caps, etc. You know, you can buy something like this Canon FD 55 millimeter F 1.2. Now that's an incredibly fast lens and it has a really fun image to it. And these are only like $350 on eBay and they're just really high quality glass. But the problem with them is the back mounts on them are Canon FD. Um, and so they don't really work well with a lot of cameras. They're kind of hard to adapt because they have a very kind of specific aperture mechanism on the back of them. Um, but I've actually converted these and Simon actually sells kits so you can actually take off this old mount and put on an EF mount so they just always work with EF cameras. Now this is something that you have to mod yourself. You have to basically take the back off of the lens and then you have to re-screw back in this other mount to make it work. But this does give you infinity focus and a fully functioning lens, which if you're trying to use these lenses with an adapter, sometimes that goes away. What Simlon has made here is this really nice premium conversion kit for these lenses. And they have stuff for an array of vintage lenses, not just Canon FD. These are just the lenses I happen to own and like a lot. So that's what we're talking about in this video, but you can like the lenses or size contacts lenses or Olympus or Nikon, whatever you want. Um, they make accessories that'll probably work for those lenses. So after you've converted to an EF mount or something of the like, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is put on a follow focus gear so you can use it with your um, follow focus on your cinema camera or your remote follow focus. And these are really awesome gears. What they do actually is you, you need to kind of just measure the outside of your lens and then you pick the size on the website that you want. And then basically if you have like just a kind of in between size, they have this little rubber tape that you put inside here and it basically makes it a really snug fit. That way there will be no slipping on your follow focus or your remote follow focus. 
So these are all the standard um, 0.08 pitch gears on here. Um, so it's just gonna work with any of your standard follow focus systems. Really nice. Um, they're actually made out of metal, which is amazing. Um, rather than being made out of like, the ones I had before were actually 3D printed gears. And so they're a little bit cheaper. The fit wasn't guaranteed every time. I mean, it was just kind of a makeshift thing. Whereas these, they're gonna work great and they're basically gonna work every time. You just have to make sure you get the right sizes and you put that tape on there to make sure that things don't slip if you have the kind of an in-between size lens, um, which a couple of my lenses are like that. So the next thing that you're gonna want on your vintage lenses, if you want them to be much more useful on a film set, is you're gonna to wanna to have the same size front rings for all of them. That way, if you have filters or map boxes or whatever, it's gonna be easy to transfer that from one lens to the other. And you're not gonna have a bunch of misshaped sizes. Because if, if you're actually looking at this, like this lens here, if I take off the ring, this lens is a totally different size than the front element on this lens. So you would have different filter sizes and it'd just be, it's just kind of a mess when you're using filters. But if you get the same size outer diameter for your front ring here that you can just screw on, then all your filters will match. So this is actually an 80 millimeter outer diameter. Um, so a map box can actually, a standard map box can go on here, but the inside threads here are 77 millimeter, which is the filter size that I use. Um, so that works out really well for me. I can just thread on filters right into this, no problems, and then take that off and put it right on one of my other lenses. And like I said, I really like these knurled kind of rings here because you can just get really good grip on that rather than just having a nice smooth ring. Sima does both versions. You can get the knurled ones or the smooth ones just depending on what you like. But I like the knurled ones because I just know I'm gonna get the right grip. And then these custom caps as well, Simod makes. So these are pretty awesome. You actually send in, you can use one of their templates or you can send in your own custom design. And these are just metal caps um, that you can have the right label for all your lenses. So when you're looking inside your lens case, you know exactly what lens you're pulling out. You can put whatever markings on there you want. This is actually the full color version. I went with this kind of fun magenta look, kind of inspired by this Blade Runner poster back here. Um, so it's black and then, you know, it's got Canon on there and all that stuff. And I just kind of uh, took one of their templates and then kind of modified it to work for something that I thought would look cool. And then just print it in color, which is great. And they have a diff couple different versions of this. They've got full color or they just have your basic like black and white and stuff like that. Um, and the cost kind of changes throughout when you're doing that. Let's take a quick break to talk about today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. So if you're anything like me, you probably need to present your work online. And Squarespace is a great place to build a website for that very purpose. You know, when I started, I just used one of their pre-existing templates to kind of get me going. And, and then I just went in there on the back end and kind of added my own flair to it to make it my own. And of course, you can simply embed any videos that you want right on your website. And then what's great about Squarespace is that it'll reformat your website for you for mobile because the odds are someone's probably finding you on their mobile device. They want to click on your bio or whatever, and they want to be able to go to your website and see what you're capable of. So if you're interested in building a website right now, well, you can just do that with Squarespace. Click the link in the description to get 10% off. And I want to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Which is great. So it basically takes all these lenses that were designed for stills cameras back in the, you know, the 80s and 90s, 70s and 80s, and, and you're making them where they're now meant just for video use. Um, and then they all kind of match. It's almost like they're all meant to go together. But the point of all this is just to talk about these new Simod kits and how nice they are. I don't actually have to use 3D printed lens gears anymore. I don't have to use just $5 cheap little step up rings to put my filters on. Now I have this just really nice setup with, you know, everything's made out of metal. Everything is premium made and just looks amazing. And basically this is just kind of an update on my little vintage lens kit. And I just wanted to talk about it on the channel. So a couple other things that are going on on the channel, just a little update. I am shooting another short film. I am going to be producing, filming, acting, writing, and another short film this weekend. And then there'll be a lot of content coming out about how I made that short film after that. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna see stuff like that, that kind of content, because there's gonna be a lot more of that coming soon. Really excited about this. Shooting short films is really like, I mean, making movie type narrative stuff is really my dream and now we're here and we're doing it. So I'm really excited to show that off. Um, yeah, so subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time guys, I'm Spencer Sakurai. See ya.